Hi, this is Stephanie Lotvin of Telly Bean Knits, and today I'm going to show you how to work a garter tab cast on and how to work the setup row for the Haunted House Mystery Knit Along. So to begin, you're going to need your circular knitting needles, which should be appropriate for achieving gauge for the pattern. You're going to need four stitch markers and you're going to need color one. For the purposes of this video, I'm using a worsted weight yarn so that you can see things a little more clearly, but you should be using color one in a fingering weight yarn. So to begin, we'll use one end of our circular needle and we will create a slip knot and put that on our needle. And now we're going to cast on two more stitches in the cast on of your choice. I like to use the long tail cast on. And now you have three needle or three stitches on your needle. With the, your working yarn, being careful not to use your tail, we're going to begin by working six rows. We're gonna just knit six rows in garter stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I really do count these out loud whenever I'm knitting my rows, I'm funny. Um, my kids will know that they're not supposed to yell out any numbers or do any math equations aloud when I'm counting my rows for a garter tab cast on, just because the rows are so short, it helps me keep track of what I'm doing. Um, now, a sneaky little trick if you've ever worked a garter tab cast on before and you have trouble with the next step, is you can actually work an additional two rows to make the next step a little simpler for yourself. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna knit two more rows. So this would be row seven. And then row eight. Now we are ready for the next step. We have created a garter tab. The next step in our garter tab cast on is to rotate our work 90 degrees clockwise. So now your stitches on your right hand needle are to the right hand side and the ridges of your garter tab are at the top. And you can see the ridges create these little bumps along the top edge. And that's what I'm going to use for the next step in the garter tab cast on. I'm going to take my left hand needle and I'm going to insert my left hand needle into three of those garter ridges. And I've just picked up three stitches. And now I'm going to knit them. One, two, three. And I should have two, four, six stitches on my needles. Now for the next step, I'm going to once again, rotate my garter tab 90 degrees clockwise. And I'm going to pick up three stitches in the cast on edge where I originally did my slip stitch or my slip knot and my two long tail cast on stitches. I'm going to pick up three stitches along that edge and your tail may want to get in the way. Just make sure you pull them out of your way. And since we did that extra sneaky uh, trick of adding an additional two rows to our garter tab, we also have a bump, an extra bump here that comes from those garter ridges. And I'm just going to pick that up and knit that. And now I only need to pick up two stitches along my cast on edge. And I like to look for these little holes created by the knit stitches when I'm picking up stitches. But be forgiving of yourself 
This edge can be tricky to pick up along that edge. And if you can pick up and knit those stitches in your own method, that is totally fine. There's no wrong way to do this. I'm just going to insert my needle through one of those little openings, pull my tail out of the way, and I'm going to knit that stitch. Now I just need one more. I'm going to pull this open so you can see this corner where I originally cast on. You can see there's an opening created by one of those knit loops. I'm going to insert my needle into that opening and I'm going to knit a stitch there. Now I have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches that I have just cast on using the garter tab cast on. And I'm ready for the setup row of my mystery knit along. And I'm going to turn my work so that I'm ready for a wrong side row. This is gonna be my setup row. For the setup row, we're going to bring our yarn forward because that first stitch is going to be slipped with the yarn in front. I'm slipping that stitch purlwise with the yarn in front. And now you'll notice in the pattern, the next stitch is a yarn over. So I'm going to work a yarn over, and then I'm going to knit one, two, and I'm going to place my first marker. I'm gonna bring my yarn to the front. I'm going to purl one. I'm going to place another marker. I'm going to purl one. Place my third marker. Purl one. Place my fourth marker. I'm going to bring my yarn to the back and I'm going to knit three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to turn my work to the right side so that I'm ready for my next row. I'm ready to start working the chart, but I want you to see what I have on my needles. So with the right side facing me, I'm going to have four stitches on the left side. I have that slipped stitch, the yarn over stitch, and then two knit stitches. And then I have a stitch between my first and second marker, a stitch between my second and third marker, a stitch between my third and fourth marker, and three stitches at the end. These outer two stitch markers are going to mark the border edge, the garter border edge, as you work through the pattern. And these two central stitches stitch markers are going to mark the central increases that will create, create an, a single stitch at the center spine of your cowl. And that is what the setup for the Haunted House Mystery Knit Along looks like. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped.